Hello, I'm Dan from Barco, and in this segment we're going to talk about aspect ratio, throw ratio, and how to choose a lens appropriate to your application. So there are a number of things you're going to need to know how to calculate on the fly. It's very, very, very easy stuff, not a lot of math, but uh, very important. So what needs to be calculated? You need to be able to determine your screen size, uh, the projection distance from the projector to the screen, and the shift and offset that's available to you by, from the lens itself, optical offset and optical shift. Why do you need to calculate this? Simply to select the correct product, both the projector and the screen, uh, the, the right aspect ratio and uh, the right size and the right brightness, and to select the correct lens. Examples of these calculations are the projection distance equals width times throw ratio. If you know the throw ratio and you know the width of the screen, it'll determine uh, your lens. The easier trick is to go to our website and download our lens calculator. To really choose a lens and a screen you need to know the aspect ratio of what you're trying to achieve. Um, sometimes you follow, find yourself with a legacy system and you have to work with an, an aspect ratio for an existing screen or existing uh, projection system. The difference, the primary difference between uh, projection technology and other display technologies such as flat panels and display walls are that there's so many aspect ratios to choose from with digital projection. So everything that we'll do is based on width, height, and distance. Primarily a width. If I tell you I've got a 10-foot projection screen, you can bank on it being a 10-foot wide projection screen. So, calculating the throw distance. The minimum throw distance is determined by the lower end of a zoom lens's focal range. Not all lenses are zoom lenses, but if you get a lens that says, say, 1.2 to 1 to 3.0 to 1, that means that your screen width times that throw ratio will give you your projector placement. It's not the throw distance that determines the brightness of the projected image, but the size of the image, as well as the brightness of the screen, which we call screen gain, and the projector brightness. So if you have a 10,000 lumen projector on a 10 foot screen, and you make that screen bigger, you go to a 20 foot wide screen, you're going to be taking the same amount of light and spreading it out over a much larger surface area. So the image will appear to be much less bright. bright. Brightness is inversely proportional to the area of the screen. If the screen width is doubled, the brightness declines by a factor of four because, for instance, not only did that screen get twice as wide, but it got twice as high. So it's four times the surface area, essentially four times less light. Throw ratio equals distance divided by width. The throw ratio is defined as the distance measured from lens to screen divided by the width of the image. To calculate the width of the screen where the lens is at a certain distance, width equals distance divided by throw ratio. One more thing we should touch on is on and off axis lens position and offset. At Barco, we prefer not to do any scaling if we can avoid it. We don't want to alter your image by compressing or expanding it or, or stretching it. So to whatever degree we can, we encourage you to use lens shift to place the projector above or below the screen or at the place in the room where you need it to be. All of our projectors are on access projectors, meaning that the placement of the projector begins at the center of the projected image, both vertically and horizontally. Uh, from there, we let you raise the lens or lower the lens, and therefore by raise or lower the image with respect to where the projector is going to be placed on a tabletop or on a ceiling, for instance. The figure for the offset is given at a percentage in, uh, uh, for instance, 110% in this example, which means the 100% of the image height plus 10% again. So, for instance, if I had an image that's 100 inches tall, and I know that my lens shift range gives me 110% flexibility. I can, be, I can position the lens of the projector to be 10 inches above or below that 100 inch image, or 10% above or below the screen image height. And the same is true for horizontal offset or horizontal shift. With these simple calculations, you should be able to place a projector in the room and choose a projector and a screen shape and size and position that's appropriate to your application. Again, this is Dan from Barco. This and more can be found on our website at www.barco.com. If you go to the website, please sign up for My Barco. It's free, it takes 10 seconds to sign up, and the next time you log in, you'll have a lot more information available to you.